This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, February 13th, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern for Canada, the US and Europe for the next 48 hours. In Canada, scattered rain and snow is occurring in BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, but the jet stream placement puts only the coastal areas of BC at high risk. For the Ontario, Quebec and New Brunswick provinces, only light precipitation is forecasted in Sudbury, East Montreal, Halifax, and St. John's. Due to the jet stream overlay, however, even light precipitation should be avoided in those cities for the next two days. In the U.S., IntelliCast radar shows mild to moderate precipitation on the West Coast and East Coast for the next 48 hours, with snowfall at the higher altitudes in the Sierra Nevadas as well as the Ohio Valley. Jet stream overlay places the following states at highest risk for potential fallout. California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas. Starting Tuesday, add Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and the Virginias to this list. In Europe, Eurodep shows fresh detections of iodine-131 and cesium-137 in Norway today. An approaching front with jet stream involvement will be moving into Ireland and the UK, followed by Spain, France, Germany, and Scandinavia late Monday night through Tuesday. As a reminder to winter sports enthusiasts, skiers are subjected to higher potential fallout at higher elevations. Skiers should use appropriate mouth and eye protection and return to sea level immediately if any signs of radiation exposure or sickness occur. Nuke events. Over the weekend, an emergency was declared at the nuclear power plant in Sequoia, Tennessee, due to an explosion in the switchyard and loss of off-site power. Luckily, there were no personnel injuries reported or release of radioactive material. The licensee is investigating and grid status is yellow. In Catanon, France, there was an unscheduled shutdown of the number two reactor. It was caused by a broken alternator, which will take several days to repair. The reactor remains in shutdown, and no radioactive material was released. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for up-to-the-minute news, mitigation, links to the EPA and NIRDEP fallout monitors, links to Fukushima webcams, educational videos, and other information. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Please share this concern for others and stay safe.